remember these Amazon Dash buttons? Of course you do. Of course they remember these. They are not you. Hi, I'm Matt and this is 99 Sec. Remember these? Yes, of course you do remember these. These are Amazon Dash buttons. And I've talked about them before. I did a wireless uh, doorbell project with them, award winning one. And also, I hooked it up using Python with Raspberry Pi, uh, which was, uh, well, complicated to say the least. But if you're interested in using Amazon Dash buttons uh, with your home automation system without single line of code, Fear not, this is the tutorial for you because we're going to link them with um, Node-RED. And you don't have to write any code at all. All you have to do is just hook up a few things and it works. And uh, I've got my uh, trusty Google uh, Home Mini. And what we're gonna do is just press the button in a second and uh, uh, Google Home will start to speak, hopefully, because it works flawlessly. I like working with Node-RED and Amazon Dash buttons. That explains it all. So if you're interested in a Python code, I know it's a little bit complicated, but I'm going to link it somewhere around here for you. Uh, Python is powerful. And if you know what you're doing, you can, you know, go much further than with an old red. But if you have an old red, uh, then uh, you're going to love this because it's so easy to set up. And it's just it just works. So uh, there's no reason not to have it in your home. And the, yes, I'm aware you could just use like an old Android phone you have laying around and set it up and there's some plugins for it. But come on, you can sell this Android phone for like 50, 50 quid dollars, whatever, and get yourself a $50. That would be like 10 Node-RED servers running on Raspberry Pi Zero, which is what I'm running it on. So uh, in this guide, I'm just going to quickly show you how to hook it up and how to execute it so you could use it uh, as a light switches, uh, doorbells, notification devices, whatever There's There's tons of uses for these. And I'm going to be talking about the uses uh, for these as well a little bit later. So let's get started. Before you install Amazon Button Node, from the Palette Manager, what you have to do is just uh, go and install dependency. You can do it from this website or from my website and instructions, and this is sudo happy to get pip pickup dash dev. And once this is installed, you can go ahead and go to the uh, manage palette and add the dash button node. Search for node red contrib Amazon dash, and you'll see the a node to install through the manager. You'll get like this yellow node, which is your button. Now uh, to add the button, all you have to do is just uh, open up the node and enter the MAC address for that button itself. Remember that the MAC address for the button has to be entered with the uppercase letters, otherwise it won't work. There are several ways of actually getting the MAC address and I'm using a thing box uh, or thing app to detect the uh, MAC address of the newly pressed button. And you can also use the Python script, uh, which I wrote in a previous and version of this tutorial. The new web buttons also display MAC address when you connect to them, so uh, set them into AP mode by holding button for six seconds, connect to them and uh, then go to 192.168.0.1 to display the information about battery and other stuff like MAC address and firmware. You can see me here switching the shops in Amazon uh, because that way I won't get the notifications and like I said, uh, just bear in mind that Amazon will send you emails from time to time about uh, setting up the buttons and completing the setup. So it's advisable to have a burner account from Amazon so you wouldn't get these in your email box. Once you go there, just navigate to the dash menu and you can disable the notification within an app. And uh, you can complete the setup uh, by following the instructions from the Amazon app. Just make sure you don't go to the um, screen when you're displaying the product and don't tap anything on that. Just exit the setup at that point and your button will remain registered on your um, network. So let's test it out. What I'm going to do is just connect Amazon Dash node with the debug node and then deploy it and then press the button and within five to six seconds I should get an undefined message popping through. I'm pressing the button now and in a moment I should see the message. Now there is a problem because I might receive more than one uh, signal from the button depending on the button. I was able to receive up to three of them so in order to kind of uh, fix this because obviously we don't want profiles to be triggered several times I'm going to use a limit 
uh, node and that will allow me to only make sure that one message is going to be passed within 10 seconds. 10 seconds is more or less the entire cooldown time on the button so if you press it it takes 10 seconds before you can use the button again and so I'm setting a rate limit uh, to one message per 10 seconds and that way you know for sure uh, your um, Amazon Dash message is not going to be duplicated and triggering multiple times. So I've got all my buttons hooked up now right now and you should do too because it's so easy. I told you it would be easy, right? Uh, if you're interested, I have a full tutorial about Node-RED, so if you've never used Node-RED at all and you know and you want to know how to use it, just check notenoughtech.com and you will see a Node-RED tutorial for beginners. Uh, until then, uh, I'm gonna leave you. Uh, if you want uh, more tutorials about Node-RED, uh, Amazon Dash buttons and other stuff, just follow me on social media. If you subscribe to my channel, thank you, hit the thumbs up or whatever. And if you're not subscribed, you know how to follow me on YouTube. Yeah and uh, check my website and i'll see you in the next video then take care bye